What's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about animations guys in this video let's see how to do a very simple animation that you might have come across uh, in several applications that you use on a daily basis we'll see how to do the flip animation okay flip animation is nothing but there will be a small card or container uh, on your application upon tapping on it it will automatically flip to reveal some information or something like that right we'll see how to do that animation in this video animations generally a lot of people have been leaving comments in this uh, in my videos on this channel and also i have been receiving a lot of suggestions through emails asking me to do a course on animations using the flutter framework and all that uh, to be honest with you, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys if you are good at mathematics then animations is nothing for you guys as far as uh, flutter framework is concerned okay uh, some people might find this strange but it's actually true if you are really good at mathematics animations will be easier for you guys to understand uh, when you are trying to code uh, simple animations using the flutter framework you should be good at mathematics plus you should have a vivid imagination that is uh, you should be able to visualize stuff visualize the animations happening on your screen as and when you code it plus a good knowledge of mathematics uh, if you have these two then animations will be pretty much uh, a little bit easier to understand uh, for you guys that's it okay so anyway let's get started let's start with a very simple animation uh, and maybe uh, in, the, in my future videos i'll see i'll show you guys how to uh, dive deeper okay so uh, i have a simple application there's nothing fancy in this a blank scaffold and inside the body i'll just uh, first i need to uh, bring in an animation controller right there are already some basic stuff basic videos and animations that i have made on this channel and there's an entire playlist on flutter animations that I, I i have created and i am maintaining that now so i'll leave a link to that in the description below you could obviously uh, look through that playlist if you want to see more animation related videos using the flutter framework anyway let's uh, uh, start with this so extend state I'll first add the single ticker uh, provider, sorry, single ticker provider state mix in and uh, uh, animation controller, controller, we need a controller uh, and we need an animation as well. Animation flip, anim okay. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll add a init state. Uh, init state inside this I'll go ahead and instantiate the uh, controller so this will be controller uh, animation controller uh, duration we need to specify a duration right duration uh, seconds I'll just give it as five. Okay, five seconds. Five seconds will be too long, right? Maybe you should give it as three. Anyway, let's give it as five and see what happens. You can adjust that later on. We sync this. Okay. And uh, uh, I need to define an actual animation. So what I'll do is uh, uh, flip and then equals tween begin 0.0. .0 end 1.0 uh, dot sorry dot animate uh, curved animation uh, uh, parent controller sorry controller and the curve will be a I'll use an interval so that there is some sort of you know nice looking uh, 0, 0.0 and it will be 0 0.5 uh, curve curve stop linear nothing fancy I'm just using a straight curve linear is nothing but a straight curve okay it will start and it will uh, move the animation will progress to the end that's it there will be no bouncing or easing in and then slowing out or fast out or slowing nothing like that it's a simple straight curve okay a uh, straight line okay uh, the system no so now we have a controller for my animation and I have this specific animation uh, that I can use in any animated builder or any transform to animate one of my widgets right uh, all this uh, stuff 
I have pretty much explained in detail in my, uh, not in detail, but I have pretty much explained it in a better way in my animation basics video. Okay, I have made a video on animation basics and I uh, talked about all these tweens and controllers and all that in that particular video. So let's move on with the actual animation. Uh, inside the body, I'll just have an animated builder. Animated builder uh, animation uh, controller and uh, builder will be build context. Sorry, build context context widget. child and inside the function what I'll do is uh, I'll return a center return center mm. child I'll have a inquil so that I can do the tap inquil on tap Uh, controller dot repeat so that the animation happens in an endless loop uh, uh, now that this is done I can simply do a child uh, container height will be some 200.0 width will be some 200.0 a small square child I'll use a transform widget this transform widget will take in a transform property transform matrix four dot dot identity it will create an identity matrix uh, dot uh, rotate x and I will do a 2 pi r 2 pi into uh, what was that flip and in dot value fine by I think I need to import something okay this should be a cascading operator fine uh, this is done and then I need to alignment alignment dot center and uh, I'll have a child for this transform property the thing that should actually animate container uh, height 100.0 width once again 100.0 and uh, color colors dot green dot width opacity uh, some point two so it will be like a small uh, lighter shade of green and uh, child Cool, right? Now I have a simple uh, inkwell. Uh, upon tapping it, it will not only trigger the animation, it will continue to play that animation in the loop. And uh, I am simply using a transform property to rotate that particular container along the x axis. The container has something, uh, has some text in the center so that we can actually see how it rotates, right? Let's run this on a device and see what happens. Now that uh, we have the screen mobile screen on here let's just tap on this particular container and see if this flips wow you can see that it flips along the x-axis right it's a like a horizontal flip right 
it flips along the x-axis and since we gave it as 5 seconds I think it's taking this much time if we just uh, given it as 3 seconds it will be like flipping continuously anyway uh, you now understand uh, how to do a simple flip animation right let's try vertical vertical is simple you just need to change this to y that's it right let's just change it to y save this uh, wow now you can see that the animation is flipping along the vertical axis right you can see this right on the mobile device it's flipping along the y axis so this is how you do a simple flip animation guys once you know how to do this you can obviously play along play around with it and then add some cool stuff. say for instance this is an identity matrix right identity matrix is nothing but a, a, a square matrix in which all the elements in the principal diagonal are one and uh, the rest of the elements in the square matrix are zeros right uh, those who know identity matrix might already know this but if you don't know what an identity matrix is it's nothing but a square matrix uh, inside which all the elements in the principal diagonal uh, I mean principal diagonal that is the diagonal across running across from the uh, 0 to 0 th element and the uh, last element on the bottom right will be uh, ones and the rest of all rest of all the elements in the matrix will be zeros that's a identity matrix so if i change this to uh, set entry i can set an entry third row uh, second column maybe and i'll add a value 0 0.05 or something 0 0.005 or something okay now if i uh, set an entry specifically on that matrix then see how this animation uh, changes if we do this just watch cool right now you can see that the animation is uh, it looks like somewhat it's happening uh, uh, on the screen it, it gives like a 3d effect right I mean uh, not, not a 3d effect the effect uh, that this particular entry that this particular entry provides looks really awesome than the one we had pre the, this is the one that we had previously just watch see there is no uh, uh, it doesn't pop out of the screen but if we include this entry and this is something you guys would uh, get to know when you start playing around with the different uh, stuff available here guys anyway uh, yeah this is one thing that you can do the other thing that you can play around with this uh, um, what else can I uh, I'll show you a rotation transition rotation transition is nothing but wait I'll show you transition I think is spelled wrong yeah Now what I can do is I can use the turns, turns in, I will accept an animation as a input, animation as an input. I already have an animation, so I'll just give that. Now watch what happens. You can see that this particular uh, widget present, in, present inside the rotation transition also rotates. You can see that, right? That's awesome, right? Say, for instance, wait. Just watch this. Now I'm just doing the rotation transition. The con this this alone rotates, guys. That's what I'm trying to say here. This uh, text alone keeps rotating. But when I add the transform property to that entire container. You can see the really awesome effect this produces right anyway uh, that's it guys uh, you try playing around with uh, different options okay you try changing all these values and see what happens and all that uh, i'll provide this entire code in uh, github repository and provide the link of that repository in the description as well uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today it's a simple animation uh, it's it looks really cool on the screen and you can use this in your applications right so this is what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope this helped you guys. If you found this helpful, kindly uh, 
hit the thumbs up button okay hit the thumbs up button and then kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more cool stuff like this uh, also click the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever i upload a, a new video if you would like to watch more stuff on animations specifically animations kindly let me know in the comment section uh, i'll see how this video performs with other users as well if i get a lot of engagement on this video if i get a lot of thumbs up on this video i'll continue to make uh, animations video on animation related videos with flutter framework as well in on this channel so yeah guys uh, uh, hope this helped you uh, i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye